Welcome back to WIS News Primetime. The path on the journey toward academic success looks different for every student, and on that path comes a unique set of challenges to overcome. One local student's journey has looked unlike most, but his perseverance speaks to the fact that success is never out of reach. After overcoming adversity in a traditional brick and mortar school setting, he now comes to a successful end to his academic journey. Let's take time to know Cyber Academy of South Carolina senior, Lee Braswell. Thanks so much for joining us, Lee. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate you coming by and talking about your journey. So you're about to end up here and you are heading to learn more about auto technicians, correct? Uh, paint and body um, repair. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about your journey. How, do, how did you decide on that field? Well, while I was younger, um, Big Papa, he's a mechanic, and I, I have watched him working on cars, and I, I, th I think I was inspired by him. Yeah, a lot of time that is what pushes us along, sometimes having the right kind of mentor. And this was a little bit of a unique journey for you because, you know, in maybe perhaps the traditional school, it didn't work out so well, but you found a new path. With, with, um, with Cyber Academy, um, let, let's start from the, the beginning. At the, at the, when I started at third grade, I didn't, I didn't, didn't know um, how to read and all that. And now I'm reading um, high school reading now. Um, Cyber Academy really have helped me. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that helped you to be able to get to where you are. I, th I think that would be the um, side academy. They, they gave me the, uh, the flexibility and they, they have helped me with time management. And um, they, ha they have helped me with um, um, do, do a Roman, going to college and get my foot in there early. Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. That's exciting. What is your favorite part about doing paint and body. It's got to be exciting as you're getting hands-on experience in that field. Well, right now I'm learning the basics, but I think the most part I, I want to do is the painting part of it. That's great. That's great. And so what's the difference between the way that you're learning and a traditional school? How is it better? Well, what I have noticed for um, this past 10 years, I. I think I really had progress in the on, online. I don't think I would have done that in, in um, brick and mortar. The 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 cyber candy that really helped me. They um, they did they would do anything as possible to have helped me with my uh, dyslexic. And they gave me some some apps to uh, help me read. Yeah. So what are some of the pictures that we're seeing here? Oh, that, that's, that's me on the, the computer um, working online. That's awesome. Now, how old were you at the time when these pictures were taken? Well, th those other two pictures while I was in, on the computer, I think I was ma maybe like nine years old when, when I started. Okay. And, and some of those other pictures like, like that one right there uh, is pretty recent, the one next to, to that map right there. Yeah. Um, and so this has been a process, step by step, learning just a little bit each year as you've grown. And now here you are, and you're getting ready for your career. And, and that's one of my pictures from North Tech. Oh, that's great. Well, one of my first classes. Well, and it's great because you're able to find a field that you're definitely gonna be able to thrive in. It looks like you have a love for you know, being able to work on autos, and, and I'm excited to see what you're going to do. Yeah, I, I can't wait for, for the, the future, you know. The, I can't wait to, to paint after um, college and all. Can you, can you believe how far you've come? And what would you tell somebody who was in your position when all of this started, when you were nine years old? What would you tell a, a kid who's nine years old that maybe struggles a little bit but is able to find a new path forward. I, I, I don't think I ever thought of, but I, I think, um, I think try your best and, and work hard and try to, um, you know, do the, um, do that 
work on time and, and well I have it's all gonna work out but it's, it's all gonna work out. that's right Lee listen we appreciate you talking to us about your journey we are so excited to see what you do in your field and congratulations on all the progress that you've made thank you you bet and it was a pleasure talking to Lee. January is College and Career Readiness Month, and this week it's National School Choice Week. Lee is really a shining example of the hard work and dedication that it takes to truly be ready. And out of all of Lee's supporters, we do have to say his grandmother continues to be his biggest fan. She took custody of Lee at a young age and was there by his side as he faced a number of challenges, including his dyslexia and inability to read or write until the third grade. Now a decade later, Lee's progress shows that perseverance and a strong support system is key in reaching your goals. And again, it was just a pleasure meeting him and his grandmother.